Reddit, what were the best comebacks you've ever heard? Someone was trashing on a user here on Reddit while using awful punctuation. Reply goes you missed so many periods that I'm sure you're pregnant. I was with friends in a movie theater and, while I forgot what the movie was, it was apparent we were the oldest people watching the movie. While waiting for the previews to start, someone in the back makes a noise. Then someone repeats the noise, then, two more, and so on. I said out loud, geez, this is getting old. When it all died down, a young and a couple rose behind me said, so are you. Touché, you little shit. My grandfather used a handicap placard because of a heart condition. Outwardly he looked very healthy. One woman saw him get out of his car at the grocery store and told him you don't look handicapped. He told her you don't look like an asshole. My mom made cupcakes one day and they collapsed in the center for whatever reason. My husband at the time looked at them and told my mom they look like assholes and she replied I was thinking of you when I made them. Easily the most witty and quickest comeback I've ever heard from her. I work at a bar and these two older ladies were talking to each other. Lady 1, nobody really likes you. Lady 2, go suck another $5 dick before you end up homeless again. I don't even bother to pretend that I'm not listening to the conversations around me. This one got a big laugh out of me. My cousin was in town for Thanksgiving. He goes up to my 10-year-old skinny nephew and jokes hey, it looks like you are gaining weight. My 10-year-old cousin without skipping a beat tells him hey, it looks like you have diabetes. My cousin is 300 plus pounds. He hasn't been back to visit since. Guy in my class in high school who was a total creep thought it would be funny to grab his dick and say to a group of girls did anyone order an extra large? One of the girls responded immediately with we did, can you go check if it's arrived yet? I teach 16 to 20 year olds and one of my students kept insulting a girl. She turned around and with a completely straight face she said, if you're not careful, I'll fuck your dad and become your stepmom. It was unexpected. I was a waitress, and this group had one too many to drink, this guy was incessantly hitting on me, so I politely told him I had a boyfriend, and he started to ask me things about my boyfriend as he pays for dinner. Does he takes care of you? And that kind of drunk attempt to diminish him. After a few minutes of me ignoring him he asked about my boyfriend's genitals, that's when I lost my cool what's the matter with you? I why are you so obsessed about my bf? I already told you he's taken. His friends started to roast the dude badly. They left me a good tip. Once I was at dinner with my friend and his girlfriend who is from India. She used the phrase shut your ears instead of don't listen or something like that. Her boyfriend proceeded to mock her because he was in a pissy mood. In a shitty voice he said, wow shut your ears what kind of grammar is that? She said really loudly for everyone at our table and the next table to hear. How about shut your fucking mouth? Is that correct enough grammar for you? I laughed. Secret Santa gift exchange in college. One guy gets a collection of British currency, he liked to collect foreign bills and coins, and a girl makes a rude comment about it being a stupid gift. Cue my mouth running off before my brain can stop it, Karen don't be rude, he just didn't want you to be the only one who gained 20 pounds this semester. Pandemonium ensued as her boyfriend tried to pick a fight, while she bursts into tears, it was not the best day for the club. How to make a best friend for life. It was 2001 when I was in 5th grade. My dad did my ponytails in the morning, and they were not cute. As I was walking away from my classmates I overheard my bully laughing and saying her hair is messed up in the back and the new girl in school shouted back to her well your face is messed up in the front. God that was awesome. I'll never forget that as long as I live and we're still friends to this day. Edit holy shit. My first silver. It's an honor. I'm having the worst day and this really made me smile. Thank you. I wanted to give an update on my bully, we later became friends. 
Turns out, she had her own stuff going on at home, and that's why she was horrible to me for all of those years. It was my dad who told me to invite her to my birthday party and talk to her outside of school. My dad rocks. He was so right. Coworker made comment about performing a sexual act on my mother. I inform him that my mom is deceased. His reply, I know. It was a lot of digging. <laughs>